I am here at WISIS 2012 Forum with Mrs. Viola Krebs. Welcome. Thank you. Mrs. Uh, Viola Krebs, you are also one of the winners of the WISIS 2012 Forum Prizes for a project that I would like you to tell us more about. Pleasure. Um, the project, it's actually a program, it's called um, the Green Voice Program and it aims to raise awareness about environmental issues. Now, our focus as an organization is um, very much on technology and communications in the wide sense of the term. So, uh, for this particular program, we use technology in a way um, to actually raise awareness about environmental issues, but also um, that about the fact that a citizen, wherever in the world he or she may be, can make a difference, can do something. Uh, it's not just up to governments to have an impact. Individuals can actually uh, also participate in environmental awareness and um, bring on messages through technology. And that's what the global campaign uh, of Green Voice has done. So we've received um, environmental photography from around the world, 100 countries. Um, it started in 2009 and we've received close to a thousand photographs, some of which are amazing and um, also some of the, the messages that, were, that came with the photographs because we asked all the photographers to uh, distill in a couple of sentences what the photograph was about. And so it goes from very beautiful environments to what happens if you don't protect the environment. And what is the photo that struck you most from the campaign that you received? Hard to say, but there were a couple. One of them is a glacier in the south of Argentina. It's a beautiful glacier, it's enormous. And you have a little man standing right in front of it. And the quote underneath the photo is, man is so small, yet he has such an enormous impact on the environment. I think that distills a lot what this has been about and um, we've also run uh, educational workshops for children and young people in a number of countries, Brazil, um, Switzerland, uh, as well as France, uh, South Africa. And what did you hope the impact of this campaign would be when you launched it? To be absolutely honest, we didn't quite imagine that it would become so big. Uh, so we were pleasantly surprised to see the diversity of photographs, the, the strength, of, strength of messages that came through and um, in a way the power of, of, of expression of, I would say, free will because we're a volunteer organization. So all the photographs and all the photographers, um, all the photographers who participated did it on a voluntary basis. Uh, nobody got paid to be part of the, of the campaign, but of course the benefit also has been to be part of the, the winners um, uh, participated in a, an exhibit on the lakeside here in Geneva, which is kind of a nice location to um, show some of those messages, share some of those messages, get um, some of it kind of on, 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 on the map, if you will. And um, we are now in the process of making the, the exhibit travel to other places. And um, hopefully, yeah, it'll go on in, in that sense. But also we have added a video component, which again works with technology and through technology and thanks to the web. What does it mean to you to have won one of the WISIS 2012 Forum Prizes then? Well, it was a nice uh, surprise. I mean, of course, when an organization submits a project, it's in the hopes that maybe this project could not only be relevant, but make it to the final selection. But it was nice to, to see that that happened. And um, last year we had another uh, of our programs actually in, presented, and that was about um, e-agriculture. And so I believe the, the whole process of uh, WISIS awards in, in some ways uh, is it's a very good initiative 
because it brings actors together, it brings um, also projects together and for, for us certainly it has been um, well, uh, very useful and also encouraging in many ways. Right. Ms. Viola Krebs, thank you very much. Thank you.